Type 91 was the 1982 ground effect car, <laughs> raced by DeAngelis and Mansell. Looks gorgeous, and was quick, was a race winner. Pretty much the ultimate. The Lotus Type 91 was the last Formula One Lotus to win a Grand Prix for Colin Chapman. It was taking ground effect to the extreme before it was banned. So the airflow at the front of the car between the monocoque and the front wheels is optimised as much as possible. The side pods come forward as much as possible and then extend all the way to the very back of the car. So in plan area there's a lot of Venturi profile creating a lot of downforce. Uh, this car weighed about 585 kilos and at 160 mile an hour was producing about another 1200 kilos. So in theory at that speed you could drive along the ceiling and you'd stick to it like Spider-Man. Um, we've never actually tried that but it was generating a fantastic amount of downforce. So the team really made every effort to package the Type 91 as efficiently as possible aerodynamically and weight-wise. It was nicknamed Colin's Weight Watcher. I'm told that my father didn't think that was uh, very funny at all. But um, everything was done to get it below the weight and then it was ballasted up to weight. The Type 91 was a challenging car to drive. The suspensions were extremely stiff and the six centimetre skirt rule was such that occasionally the aerodynamic performance was unpredictable to say the least. So it was a real challenge and for Elio De Angelis, he managed to realise his first Grand Prix win at Austria. A fantastically close finish with Keke Rosberg in the Williams. Hugely exciting moment and um, the last win for my father. So a very special car to remember Elio and to remember my father and Peter Wright's last hurrah in terms of designing ground effect cars, which he started all the way back in 1977. Endurance. Concentration. Team spirit.